Damn. I'm not even ready. I don't know why I'm nervous again. Why are you nervous? I don't know. I'm not even nervous. No. My mouth just gets like very dry. I don't know why. <laughs> well, if you're listening to this right now, you're listening to a Toast Light podcast, the most authentic, most organic podcast out here in the world, baby. Let's go. Make sure you're subscribing, you're tuning in, following all the pages. And next to me, we have a superstar. Doesn't care about filters. Doesn't care about what he says, how he says it. He just says it. I say it. When you want to. When I want to, when I feel like it. I have to be in the mood. Jesus. All right. But if you haven't, he's been in the game for a while. Social media influencer. Guy that makes you laugh with his stories, the way he says things. But we are sitting with it's Angelito. And next to me, I'm right now. Let's go. Hey, guys. What's the tea? All the way from What's the other side of the mountain. Yeah, from Coachella. From Coachella Valley. That's right. Damn. How long have you been in Coachella? You know, give us a rundown from for the people that don't know exactly who is the personality outside of the social media. So I've been, I'm born and raised in Coachella. Um, yeah, I was raised there. Uh, come from a big family. Nine brothers, two sisters. No TV. Well, my four older siblings are... See, everybody always asks me. So my four older siblings are... Oh, they're fixing the mic. You got to make sure we listen to all of this, man. Anyhow, so um, my four older siblings are my dad's first marriage. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so... But they, they live with us while they live. We all live together, all together, oh, nice. our whole life. Are you, are you guys all, like, super close and everything? Very close. What, where do you land in the age? I'm the fourth to the last. Fourth to the last. Yeah. What's your, your uh, oldest and your youngest? How old are they? Fuck. So I think my oldest is 51. 51? My oldest sister is 51. And then the youngest is 26. Oh, okay. Not that bad then. I think so. Yeah, I think that's those are ages. It's just too many. Dude, when I'm like literally like saying their names, I'm like calling it I'm calling one of my brothers. I'm like literally trying to say I'm saying everybody's name <laughs> until I get to the until I get the right name. You forget it? I forget it. All right. So growing growing up in Coachella, what you said when we we're walking in here, at first you thought about moving to LA. Oh yeah. And then you just said no, never mind. Yeah, I'll sit the nine. So what what's what are positives living all the way out there? Because that's uh, like kind of the high desert, right? Is it low? Low it's desert. Low desert. Ah. Um, no traffic. Um, not crowded. In the winter, we have beautiful weather. Beautiful. In the summer, I guess we have to be inside through what is it? June? No, July through through. One hundred thirty degrees out there. One hundred and twenty. Please, 120. <laughs> <laughs> it's 120 degrees. But it, how was how was it how is it growing up over there? Like the population, the the people around you. Like how was that growing up from high school to school? Oh, like everybody knows each other, and like all my high school friends, elementary friends, we're all still friends. Damn. Yeah. We're Damn, that girl's mad or something. Yeah. <laughs> What's her? What's her problem? Bring her back in here. Are you mad? <laughs> What's going on at? Damn, not even my watch died. I already. cannot stand salty people. <sighs> Dude, I don't, I don't know. So your friends, before we get off top before we get off topic, your friends. You stayed friends with everybody. Yeah, I'm friends with Are you a very social person, very introvert, so, yeah, very extrovert? Very social. Are you introverted or extroverted? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> so explain. To my knowledge, introverted is you're not a people's person. Like, you don't, when you're in a big room, you're not the one to socialize. I am. So extroverted, right? Yeah. Confident in yourself. Yeah. So from high, have you always been this way? Like, from. Very outspoken. Yeah. Very, yeah, very. Social, social, social butterfly, yeah. Did you ever get really in trouble in? in? Um, no, I'm the good, I'm the good son. Like, I'm the, I'm the good friend, the peace builder. I mean, if we need to get down, we're going to get down. <laughs> Did you get down in high school? Oh, yeah. Like, if J-Queen's fighting, I'm going to get in. We're going to get down. Get J- jumping. Yeah. It's going to happen. 
Yeah, but we don't fight. Well, peace and love, though. Yeah, we don't. We're not promoting. Love. We're not promoting peace fighting. And peace love, and love. Peace and love. But we we do defend ourselves. Not to just today. We went to a store to go get cups and waters right before we came. It's what nine o'clock in the morning. There's only like two people, two lanes open at Food for List, right? Some guy just walks in. Open another fucking line. <laughs> What's going on? He was like. Someone wants, wants to fucking work or what? We're like, um, and then he sees my shirt, Dodgers shirt, shout out 25-8 LA. That's a feeding man I shirt about them. Hey, Dodgers, Yankees. Talk about it. Okay, cool. We started talking real quick. Left, came back. Fuck, I gotta go places. Open another line. Everyone's like, look at him. Were you at Walmart? No, food for less. Oh, yeah. So we got in line. One of the we only had water, so one of the, the older gentlemen, he was like, hey, just go in front, you're good. Okay, cool. Go in line. The guy comes back. Hey, homie. I'm like, fuck, I don't want to turn. I don't want to turn. Hey, can I go in front or what? I'm like, um, nah, like you got to ask him. Yeah. He was like, the older man was like, I was like, yeah. Yeah, fool, you know, when I go to Walmart, sometimes I go self-checkout. Sometimes I don't ring up all the groceries. <laughs> he was like, I've never worked there, so how the fuck am I going to do it? And they're like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. Hey, homie, do you box? I'm like, no. Can you fight? I think so. <laughs> oh, it's because I'm going to get into pro boxing, fool, and I need to, you know, I got, you're big. I got to fight somebody. I'm like, I'm going to fight someone at 9 in the morning today. <laughs> but we're not, like, we're very, I think we're, I think the way we, me and Dylan are, like, we're just so, it's just towards how, how you guys are. Yeah. We won't look for problems. We won't be those problematic people. But when it comes down to it, like, yeah. Okay. Take my hat off. Shit. Hold my keys. Yeah. That's how we are too. Yeah. We're friendly. We're social butterflies. But we need to. We, we need to fight. We're gonna fight. All right. So now let's get to the crying part. No. 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 We're gonna cry. I'm ready. We said we were gonna cry. <laughs> no, you said I did. <laughs> I was ready. But what's like a memorable memorable moment for you and growing up though? Like you have a big family. Growing up in a community that almost everybody knows each other, like what is a memorable moment for you? Like, like that when you think back to that childhood, like you're just like, damn. Mm. Um, so my dad, when he was alive, um, he would take us to like Mexicali, all of us. He, we had a huge van, Sprinter. No, I lived. It was in a Sprinter. It had like the the lights on the top and the lights on the side. The TV, oh the shit. headphones you could connect them onto the side. It, it was hooked up. Firme. Yeah, it was hooked up. Um, he would he he would get us up in the morning, all of us, all my brothers and stuff, and carry us like at five in the morning, carry us to the van, put us in the van, and we would go drive to Mexicali every every weekend to go see my grandma, and. You know, he. those are the moments that I, you know, miss because, you know, my dad's not here, my grandma's not here, my grandpa's not here, and everybody's grown. Everybody has their own families now, and we don't do that. Yeah. We don't do that stuff anymore. So it's, you know, that's something that I miss. So growing up like that, having that big family, like, union, is that something you try to emulate now with, like, the people you're around, the way you carry yourself? Like, I try to... I try to, like, always get my brothers and, you know, sisters together, nephews and nieces, but it's hard. It's hard. Everybody does their own thing. Yeah. Um, you know, holidays are coming, and it's not the same no more. Like, everybody's just doing their own things. Like, we don't, we don't, like, before when my dad was here, it was like, we would all get together at my mom's house and, you know, open presents together, open them early because my dad was like, I want to go to sleep. And so you guys didn't wait till 12? No, we didn't wait till 12. <laughs> you know, that's the one thing I hate, bro. All the little kids can open it right before yeah. and then adults, 12 a.m. Yeah. It's better than 10. Yeah, like, we don't wait. We, don't, we, we, we wouldn't wait because my dad wanted to go to sleep. And he wanted to watch his open. Our, 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 even on his birthday, like, he's like, cut the cake. I'm going to yeah. go to sleep. And we would have to cut the cake and he would go to sleep. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, we don't do that stuff no more. It's just, it's different, you know. There's divorces in the family. There's, it, the family's just... It, every life happens, right? Yeah. Like that. That's that's the thing. So that's why when this whole thing we try to set this all up, it's trying to get that story and that conversation that not a lot of people know about you, mm -hmm. right? Now you you just talked about a memorable moment. What what part 
before we get into the whole social media part, what part in your life do you think changed you, like, forever? Mm. Like, after a certain event happened? Oh, just, me, when I came out mm, of the closet. Let's talk about that, because yeah. this, 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 I know, is going to help out a lot of people. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not something easy. It's not. Especially not in our Hispanic culture. No. Um, it's a lot more normalized now with everything yeah. happening, right? But let's talk about that. Yeah, so my dad was a machista, Jalisco. Like, what part of Jalisco? A Totonicio. A Totonicio? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Cap. Yeah, which one? For real. Which one? That Puebla? That's from my girlfriend's room. Shut up. Yeah, nice. Del Alto. Yeah. So that's where the tequila is made. Mm-hmm. So when I went the first time, I came back at Tequilero y Vario. Now they can't yeah, stop me. It's, now they can't stop I me. I mean, who does? I mean, whoever drinks not tequila, it's no. Crazy. I love tequila. We went for the grandpa's birthday, and I was like, as generous, I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy everybody like a pack of beer so we could just pound. <laughs> That's right. That's oh, right. Shit. I was like, <laughs> oh, mm. okay. I don't drink beer. I hate beer. We have seltzers. Yeah, we drink. We drink um, tequila. Have you dad? We don't need that's all we drink. <laughs> so yeah, so you know, my dad was very, very uh, strict. My dad was strict, like with us. We wouldn't be able to drink, no smoke. We didn't, couldn't have no tattoos. Like when my dad was around, like he was he was strict. Like he The was, law. The law. I mean I mean anybody could tell you like my brother I had nothing but girlfriends, like friends, you know. And my brothers all had, you know, their friends. All guy friends and they would come over and my dad would search them all, like if they were to have like to search them that they didn't have drugs on them. Yeah, my dad was some. My dad was everybody was afraid of my dad. What? What do you think? Him. Yeah. Why do? Why do you think that was though? Oh my dad, because he was very like he didn't want us to do drugs. Like he was very he wanted to raise us, you know, the right like the, the right, right way. way and everything. Yeah, like yeah. if we would go out, like if we were sitting down in the dining room, and you know. Having or he was in the uh, cocina on the sala, yeah. you know, watching TV, and we would go in the morning, and we wouldn't say good morning to him. Oh, automatic coscoron. Boom. Yeah. Put your hair back. Yep. Oh man. Yeah. So when how would, how did that conversation go then? When you decided to come out, or what made you? So my dad was gone already when when oh. I came out. Yeah, my dad was gone. He had passed away, and and I still wasn't like I was depressed, depressed. Like I'm like. You know, I wouldn't, I didn't accept myself. I didn't accept myself. Like, um, I was like, I know, I knew, or I, I knew then that it was bad. Like, I couldn't be gay. You know, that still was behind my head. You know, and my dad was gone still. And I had a friend, she was just like, one time, she was like, well, how do you, how do you expect everybody to accept you if you don't accept yourself? Mm. And I'm just like, you know, that's, that's true. And um, so one time, when, when it was Easter, it was Easter weekend, and me and my mom were, my dad, my brother used to live in Simi Valley. Yeah. And we were, we were at the gas station, and um, I don't know how the conversation started, and we, me and my mom just started crying, and I was just like, I was like, you know what, mom, like, this is why, I, you know, I had so much hate against my dad, like, I barely forgave my dad, like, you know, and he's been gone for 11 years, 12 years, you know, where I was like, this is why I have so much hate against him. This is why I always said that I would never, you know, cry for him when he passed away, Um, you know, because my dad, he wasn't, my dad would just like when he would hear me talk or like act like, you know, a girl, he'd be like, hey. Vale más que te que te aplaques. Like, I don't want to hear you talk like that. Habla con un, con un hombre. Yo no quiero un hijo maricón and stuff like that. And it, so it was hard. It was hard for me, you know? Yeah. Was it, like, uh, afraid? Oh, I was afraid. I was afraid. I was afraid that, you know, he was going to disown me. My mom yeah. was going to disown me. Like, I was afraid of, of my brothers. Yeah. Uh, my four older siblings are Christians. Like, they have their own church and everything. So, you know, I was afraid of all that stuff. Yeah. So we were on our way to Simi Valley and I finally came out to my mom and I always told myself like as long as my mom accepts me yeah. that's all that matters. Like I don't care if my cousins accept me, my brothers accept me. 
anybody in the world that didn't accept me as long as my mom because she, that's my best friend. And um and I told her and she's just like, I knew. I know I know I know my kids. Yeah. She's like, I just want you to respect yourself, respect your brothers and and you know, be happy. And when I told her and she told me that, it's like literally like it changed me. Okay, I gotta give it up. I got I gotta yeah. come on. Re- re- reason being is because you took, you decided to take that opportunity and that chance to like, this is who I am. Yeah. Like I can't, I can't be locked away hiding from the world when, when I come out to the world, I I don't even know who I am. Yeah, you were walking in somebody else's shoes when, your shoes were just sitting there like waiting for you to get them, yeah. and you did it. I made myself happy. It was like you know I. So yeah, when I came out to her, it was just like, you know, I started telling everybody, you know, I'm gay. My yeah. brothers, my brothers were just like, okay, we know. <laughs> <laughs> like, we know. Um, my four, my three younger brothers knew already. I had already came out to them. So, you do, know. Do you think it, it's, because I think a lot of people have that issue, right? Like, they're so afraid of being true and actually saying who they are. But when they actually do that, that step, we actually take that, that leap. Like, you get that answer, like, hey, um, we knew, though. Yeah. Because everybody sees you, everybody knows, like, how you are, how you're acting. So it's not like like you're hiding it. You're mostly hiding it for yourself, but not from everybody else. Yeah. Because it's like, I see you who you are. I'm your friend. I'm your, I'm your person. Like, hey, I, you don't got to hide it from me no more. Yeah. So taking a slightly back, you said you barely forgave your dad. Why, why the forgiveness? What what was that? Well, he's you know he's gone. He's, I think God's taking care of him now. Why so long though? I don't know. It's, I don't know. I guess just because I wasn't able, I wasn't able to tell him how I felt. Yeah. So you know it's, it was hard. Did you give that conver- Did you have that conversation like with yourself? Were you in somewhere? Uh, special where you like had that conversation oh, like yeah. yo yeah you gotta forgive and forget and and move on to be happy. Are you uh do you are you someone that holds on to grudges? No, just my dad. I don't know why. I don't know why. Is that because it's more personal? Yeah. Yeah, I, it's tough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no cry, no, no cry, no cry, no cry. <laughs> yeah, no, it's tough. But you know, for those people that are are listening, and you have a community behind you. Yeah. You've been in the social media game for eight years, and if you hop on this guy's live, you see everybody who comments, and I see you read the comments, I love your energy, tell us, say this, like, tell us more about this. They're behind you. Yeah. So now you're fully out there, right? How do you feel that you have a community behind you? Oh, I love it. That loves you for who you are and, like, Dude. They're they're, the, they're they're my motivation, mm. literally. Like, they're the reason why I wake up and I'm like, fuck. There's thousands of people that fucking love me. Yeah, you know, I'm just like, how am I gonna be unhappy? How much? What's your number on TikTok right now? You said on TikTok, I'm almost at five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. Yeah. Dang. But is it like you were afraid to come out, right? To it's, my family. Yeah. Yeah. But. Now everybody like you're a whole I'm persona. An open, I'm an open book. You're an open book. Te vale verga. Me vale. Everybody knows all my secrets. Every dirty secret. Not every. <laughs> you know, I only have one secret. And that's it. But we won't talk about that. Off camera. <laughs> <laughs> so this so this platform. When did you decide? Yo, I'm gonna start just posting it. Was it an intention to grow a community? Was it just to put your videos out there because you're just naturally funny, or what was it? I was just, it was, it was, uh, it's all natural. Uh, not to, not to post and, you know, just to do it for fun. Yeah. I'm doing it for fun. And it's always been like that. Always, always been like that. And you say you don't edit anything? No. Nope. You just. That's my YouTube videos. When I used to post on YouTube. Yeah. But that's why I don't post. Because that's a lot of work. What? For the people that are starting uh, social media, what's, like, that piece of advice then? Because now everybody is 
trying to be TikToker. Everybody's trying to be a YouTuber. Everybody's trying to be an Instagram celebrity. But what it, what are what do you think? Since you've been in this for a while, is that like hey, like the secret to it? Be yourself. Be yourself, and it's a lot of work. But be yourself. Don't be fake. <laughs> There's a lot of fakes out there. Yeah, no, for sure. So your confidence, do you? is there any a day you're not confident in yourself? No, I'm very confident. I wake up every day and I'm just like, fuck, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a big, big believer in affirmations? Mm, what's that? Like if, if you say some, like, I want to say... I want to get 10,000 subscribers. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm speaking into existence. No? Uh, no? Mm. So how do you go about life then? Like, I, this, this is what I I'm trying to figure I out. Wake up, I wake up in the morning. I'm like, I sit at the edge of the pen. I'm like, am I going to have a good day or am I going to have a bad day today? Yeah. I'm going to have a fucking good day. I'm not going to let nobody fucking ruin my day today. Is it tough for you? Like, was it tough when the moment that you came out throughout this whole, like your whole lifespan, being on social media, is it tough for you to balance negative comments and stuff like that? Mm-mm. I don't. I don't feed into the negative. I don't care for the negative. Are you petty? I'm super petty. That's why I'm asking. I know. I don't think I am. Like, dude, when you get a negative comment, you just bam, put it to the side. Oh yeah, delete it. Sometimes I'll comment back, like you know, like yesterday, someone comment, uh, someone messaged me. It was no, it was a message. Do you ever wear closed shoes? Or you always wearing chanclas? I'm just like, mind your fucking business. <laughs> Fuck. Like, does it bother you? Yeah. Like, just watch the video. Just, if you're going to be on here, just, you know. And she's just like, oh, my God, it was just a question. I love you. I said, bitch, just keep your comments to yourself. <laughs> they, they, so, had, they had to throw in that. I yeah, love you, though. Yeah, uh, always. Oh, no, and, to, and people, like, people will, like, you know, oh, like, they'll talk shit to get, the, to get your response. And then they'll be like, oh, I love you. And I block them. Fuck you, man. How long is your list of block? Oh, it's big. Let me see see my phone. (laughs) On my Snapchat, you want to see my Snapchat? Oh, shit. We're almost at 400 subscribers on on Snapchat. I was just telling Dylan, that's a wave right now. Am I sweating? Can you see the sweat on my head? I think we're all sweating. Okay. We're little. I'm like, fuck. Tap, tap, tap. Let me see the block list on, on, on Snapchat. I think you have more. I think you have more people blocked than we got following. Talk shit, get blocked. <laughs> oh shit! I don't. I see. I don't. I don't. I don't feed off of these people. So for you, what's your piece? My piece that I can make. That I I can make one person laugh. One person happy. I mean, I used to get messages. I mean, I, I still get messages where, like, people are, like, you know, like, you know, I tr- I'm depressed, and you, you're the one that makes me smile. How do you feel that. when you get oh that? Oh, my God. It makes my heart happy. I'm bigger. I love it. You thrive off of that type I, of energy? Yep, yep. That's my energy right there. So the days that you don't, like, you don't want to get up, you just remember, what, like, you know what your purpose is now? So okay. far into the game, so far into social media and in life, do you know now what your what your purpose and when did you find out your purpose? My purpose, yeah, I, like I know that you know I'm here, and I mean I'm here for like you know my sister has three kids and I'm you know I live with her, and those kids I mean they look up to me, they love me, and I love them, and I'm just like fuck I'm you know there's I don't want to get into details, but like you know like he's not there. The father is not there. And so I'm trying to be that that person. You know, I'm trying to be that role model to them. Because I know these kids look up to me. These three kids. Yeah. You know? And and I know she needs my help. So um right now those that's what I'm, you know, why I'm doing what I'm doing for them. You get emotional on this part, huh? Yeah, those are my babies. They helped you a lot? What way did they help you? A lot. Those are my 
babies right there. Like, like I don't see my life like without them. Yeah. Like, it's hard. Like I don't know how parents like just walk out of their kids' life and <laughs> and you're there. Yeah, I'm like, like I literally could, like I'm here right now, and I'm just like literally calling my sister, and I'm just like, hey, like take care of the kids. Like, wh- what are they doing? Like, I'm talking to them. I'm like, you know, take care of them. I go to fucking Vegas, and I'm just like, I want to go home. I want to go have a home to them. Like, I need to make sure that they're fed. That's that parenting instinct. Yeah. I told my mom, like, I'm like, I live, like, I live because of you, because of these kids, you know. My dad, before he passed away, he literally, a week before, he didn't know he was going to pass away. Mm. Um. He was like, he made out, like I said, he was a machista and he never, ever like sat down with us and gave us advice or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. And one day, like well, a week before he passed away, he literally was like outside sitting down and he was like, hey, quiero hablar contigo. He's uh, cuando yo no esté, tú vas a cuidar a tu madre. So I was thinking he was going to just abandon us and he was going to leave, you know? So he's going to go get milk and yeah, not come he back. Yeah, he was going to leave. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and... A week be- and then a week after he got sick and he passed away. Like he knew. Like he knew he was gonna pass away and I was, you know. Oh sh- yeah. Damn. That's like it's weird, huh? Yeah, like it's it, it's so weird when when you have a conversation and then a week later something you're just like, damn. Like Dude, it's cra- it is crazy. Like yeah. you know, it that happened, and then when, like, I have a nephew that passed away in a car accident, my sister's son, and him too, it was when MySpace was around, and he had messaged, he, they were, my sister and, and them were on vacation in Mexicali, and he had messaged me on MySpace, like, just telling me, hey, uncle, like, I love you, like, I've ever, ever hurt you, like, I just want to tell you that, like, you know, I love you, yeah. and then a couple of days later, what, because we were on vacation in Mexicali, we get the call that he passed away in a car accident. Yeah. So, you know. Oh, yeah. So I believe, yeah, I believe, like, you know, we, like, like they have, they, they have the feelings. Sure. Yeah. But I do want to give it up for you because you said these kids are the reason why you're here and your mom and you are a great role model and, Fitting in those shoes that they need. So I do want to give it up for you, though. Thank you. Ya casi llorabas. Casi. 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 Chancludo. Why don't you wear closed toe shoes, man? <laughs> Why don't you wear shoes? I fucking like to be comfortable, right? Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Are you in a relationship? Hell to the nah. <laughs> maybe, when the- I'm, when, maybe when I'm like 50, I'll settle down. <laughs> Why not now? Imagine now and then being with the same, mm, having the same mm, mm, for the rest of your life. No thanks. There's a lot of them out there in the world. I gotta freaking explore. (laughs) (laughs) Have you had a relationship prior? I used to talk to some guy, but acquaintance. Yeah, it's like whatever. He hit me. Sorry, my brother's kicked us. Did you jump him? <laughs> I hit him when he hit me back. I don't um, condone violence. No, we don't condemn. We don't condone violence. Don't hit. Walk away. Yeah, just walk away. Unless you're with your best friend, then jump yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if you have a bat. <laughs> Do you believe? So the next question is perfect. Then, do you believe in love? I do. I do believe in love because love just doesn't, you know, it doesn't just mean a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a wife or a husband. I mean, you know, I love my family. Yeah. I love, you know, my friends, my fathers. That's love. That's true love right there. Mm. See, that's that's a different type of definition than others. When When someone says, oh, do you believe in love? We believe in, oh, it's my significant other. Mm-hmm. But in reality, it's more people, mm-hmm. right? Like we, that's, I think that word love, it just gets thrown around 
Fácil. No. I think that's just attachment. Boyfriend and girlfriend, wife and... I don't know. That's me. Don't come for me, please. No. Toxicity, Because too. I don't know how to argue on the comments. No? <laughs> no. I don't think there is there is time or, or energy to argue, though. No. Like... When someone wants to argue, is it's like, okay, you have to make a decision. Walk away at that moment and let things cool down and have a conversation or see where it goes and all you're doing is who yells the, the loudest, mm. who gets the point across the fastest. I, that, me, that's me. I just, um, you know, I need to say what I got to say and I say, I don't want to hear what you got to say. What do you think is the is the is one of the biggest miscon misconceptions about you from like your social media to outside of social media? That I could be nice all the time. But if you're a bitch with me, I'm going to be a bitch with you. Is it a switch that you turn on and off? Like when you're on camera and then when you're off camera? No. No, and that's me all the time. There's my little son. There's my little son. Chinga su There's madre. kids crying here. You guys, sorry, we're in the lobby. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're in the hotel lobby. Don't come at us yeah. like that. <laughs> They're renting this for $5,000. Oh, we our overhead is crazy, bro. We're calmen sus niños. Lleva los baños, por favor. We're recording a podcast. Didn't go throw a chip at them or something. <laughs> Maybe he wants <laughs> chips, didn't it? <laughs> so, can we bring up your job? Of course, we just can't talk about a lot of things. We don't got to get into details, but people believe when you do social media like that is all you do. Right. No. They believe that when you're X amount of followers, subscribers, oh man, that's great. You do this full time? Mm. Nah. Mm. I wish, right? Yeah. Like there's I think we do wish to have to be able to do that full time, but there is that other part of us that we can't leave because we just we wanna stay busy. We we wanna be how do I put it? We wanna be giving to others because what you do it's helping others. Mm -hmm. So for the people that don't know what you do outside of your content, what do you do? I'm a caregiver. I take care of the elderly with dementia and Alzheimer's. Oh, I've been doing it for 12 years. And I tried to leave it two years ago, but I had to go back. I think it was when the second round of COVID hit, mm -hmm. and I was already gone, and my coworkers were calling me, and they're just like, dude, come back. It's not the same without you. And then my manager called. She's like, I'll give you whatever you want. And I'm like, I'm like, the weekend's off? She's like, the weekend's off, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm right. like, you're going to pay me more? She's like, yes, come back. I'm like, okay, I'll be back tomorrow. So your, what's your purpose there then? See, like, What keeps you there for 12 oh my years? God, helping them. Helping these people. Like, they need all our help. Like, these people are like babies. Yeah. They're like babies and, you know. It's a life full circle. Yeah. Right? Like, uh, what? there's like an old photo, right? When you're a baby, your parents are carrying you. And then as you get older, then you're the one carrying your parents. See, but that sad part is like, you know, well, like the people that I take care of, they're nothing but white people. And, and it's sad to me. Like, you know, there's people there that have been there for two, three years and no family members come to um, see them. And I mean, I could, I could imagine like it's probably hard for them where like these, you know, these people don't even remember them. Yeah. So it's hard for them; they can't come. But yeah, no visitate like they don't come. But, it, visit them. but it's like uh, it's like the notebook. Yeah. Yeah, you you go you go read the story and literally ah, dude, that fucking movie. What what do you want? <laughs> you never watched it, bro. I think everybody here, well besides you, I watched clips, just clips of it. I didn't watch it. When all. you ask a girl what she wants to eat, I'm what baby. do you want? Okay, I know those. Okay, you see, there it goes. But literally, like, that movie is based of him reading back their love story, yeah. their love fairy tale. They don't, I mean, I don't think they write that type of love anymore. Mm -mm. But, you know, it's just families, right? Like, also, when, you grow, when you're getting older, it's just, like you said, they're, they're just kids. Mm -hmm. and they require attention. Oh, yeah, a lot. I think everything... Everything requires attention. It is a matter of how much attention you want to give it. Yeah. Like, it's like your business. It's like your content. It's your kids. It's your friends. Because if you don't give it attention, they leave, right? Oh, yeah. Friends, boyfriend, girlfriends, they all leave. If you don't give it the right attention. Mm -hmm. 
for you with doing that and doing social media, what's your balance? Do you have a balance? Do you believe in a balance? Mm, I believe in, well, like I work. You know, oh, I had someone tell me once, he's just like, you know, you you know, you know, do this, you, you have your job, but you also have to, like if you're going to do social media, you have to give yourself that time too. Yeah. But I don't find it. I can't find it. I'm telling you, like I have to be in the mood to, to record, like to record a video. So what's the difference between when you started and now in your social media? Because you've you've been in social media eight years. You've been working for twelve years. When you started social media, how are you then compared to now? Oh, it's changed a lot. Like I don't really care for social media. I don't, I'm like, you know, if, if, you know, people f watch my video, okay. If they don't, okay. As long as, you know, I make a couple of people happy, that's all that matters. I feel like you're not in this for the money then. I'm not. Like, people that be, that come into social media, they think, oh, uh, once you hop in there. I mean, don't get it, no. like, don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. Like, don't get it twisted. Get it like, twisted. If, I mean, if money comes, like, fuck it. We ain't gonna say it. no. You can't drop yeah, the bag. No, no, no. Let's do it. But I mean. Can we talk about your new partnership? Yeah. All right. So everybody at one point in their life thrives and strives to get just branded. Buy clothes, whatever company brand that you want, and hope hopefully they pay you to wear their clothes and believe in you. And you just said when we got here, you just signed your contract for Fashion Nova. Mm -hmm. So give it up. Come on. He's a Fashion Nova. The model, the, the oh, ambassador. ambassador, ambassador. Okay, don't get it twisted, guys. Yeah, so ambassador. when I post videos on TikTok, you guys better like, like them um, and comment and go buy it. Yeah, and go buy it. I mean, free clothes and money. I can't. <laughs> how do, so now? How do you get branded? How did you get branded? Well, they hit me up. They hit me up, and and I said, fuck yeah. See, guys, I'm I get like I'm like I don't know how to do that like those type of videos. Like, I'm like, what am I going to be showing videos, putting them on and stuff? Like, I don't know how to do it. So I'm not, I told my friend, my homegirl, she does that. And she, I'm like, you're going to have to help me. Yeah. And record me. Th those are the videos I'm going to have to edit. You see, I don't like to do that shit. <laughs> Takes a lot of time. Or like when they tell me, you got to post. So I'm like now I have to post like, I think three videos a week of like when I, you know, for the clothes, with the clothes, with Fashion Nova. How many times do you post them? A week, regularly. So every other day, but it has to be three videos because the contract's only to December. So now I have, and it's 25 videos that I have to post. So you guys better fucking like and comment on those videos. And, 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 you, go, and use the fucking yeah, discount and code. use the discount code. Just don't use somebody else's yeah. that you don't know, yeah. please. For reals. Fuck. Dude, I always tell this. See, I, what you're saying right now, I hope he doesn't listen to it because this guy has content. He has all the tias on him. The Tia's message him. They've been following him. And I'm like, bro, just post. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm working on it. Right I'm here. working on it. J Queen's here, you guys. Him. I tell him all the time. I'm like, dude, get back. Like, get on fucking social media. Like, literally, like, go to his Instagram and he won't. He, he You deleted all your posts? No, he, like, I think the last time he posted was April. I'm like, dude, uh, 2019. People, I'm like, people love you. Like, I post him. Like, I post him. Yeah. And I'm just like, dude, I'm like, like. Post on TikTok, post on Instagram. Like, people love you. Yeah. Like, he has a following, too. That's what I tell him. Like, bro, post. Like, I think we all have those friends that they have. We know they have the potential. They're just like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. When see, I get that, a chance. See, that's me, too. Like, I'm just like, everybody's just But you've like, been in this for eight years. Yeah, everybody's like, why don't you do this? And why don't you do that? I'm just like, ah. Like, I want like, to do merch. But I want someone to do it for me. Because I'm like, mm, that's a lot of work. <laughs> that's a lot of fucking work. That's a smart move, though. Yeah. You get to work on your talent, and then you let someone else do what they do. Yeah. I'm like... See, like, you like, built that YouTube, persona. Like, I want to do YouTube, but the editing, that's a lot of work. I mean, shout out to the YouTubers out there. Like, that really just that's, do it. That's, that's a lot of work. Oh, yeah. But I think now, like... We've tried, we're trying like YouTube also, but fuck, it's a lot of work. Like people don't believe and think that like uploading just 
if you uh, upload a, a twenty minute video, it takes about forty five minutes. Yeah. But to edit it, it takes about three hours. I see. My my editing was like okay, so like I would record on my phone, and so I would just connect the fucking uh, the, the videos. That's what I did. So every like when I would do vlogs, I would like just just connect them. I wouldn't edit them. I said they're going in like this. I don't give a fuck. You're watching the whole video. <laughs> <laughs> you're watching when we started yeah. and when we ended this yeah. shit. <laughs> When I say cut, cut the camera, you're watching that too. So, like, you're confident, man. You're so confident. Like, you're confident in what you do, how you do things. You don't care about what people say. Why is that? Why don't you care about what people say or what the backlash? Because why the fuck? They don't feed me. They don't feed me. Per. Per. Period. (laughs) (laughs) They don't feed me. I don't care. I don't care what they think about me. Imagine if you were to care about what people fucking had to say about you, what they thought about you. Where would you be? Exactly. Can Miserable. It. Yeah. I don't, know. I don't have time for that. I feel like you you don't want to fit into anybody's resume. Like, you don't want to fit into every, if anybody's. If you like me, you like me. If you don't. Chinga tu madre. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, um, like, so is that something that you base off, like, also your friend group? Like, your close friends, right? So... If your close friends, like, what's your, can you count them in a the hand? Is it too many? Like, my close, close friends? Close, close friends. Like, if right now they're getting down, you're going to go jump oh, in. Oh, we have to. Exactly. If, if we're all close friends and someone's getting jumped and you don't jump in, yeah, you're not. You're going to get fucked I'm going to jump you? Yeah. Yeah, of course. You have to jump in. So, the, so that's my question. Like, how many close, close friends do you have? People that I could trust. Trust blindly. And there's no shots on anybody. How about Just seven? Seven. People I can trust. Do you believe you have to, you can't be the smartest person in the group? Like I'm. Like, so there, there is now things out there, right? That they say you, when I'm in a, in a group of friends, I don't want to be the smartest one in the group. I want to always be learning, right? I don't want to always think that I'm bigger than anybody. I don't want to believe that I am the leader of anybody. Like, if we walk into the room, oh, who's the... Uh, now nah, we all are. Mm-hmm. Not just me, right? Yeah. So, but how you said, like, the people that I have, I can trust them blindly. Mm-hmm. I've cried with them. They know pretty much everything about me. And if they're getting jumped, I'm jumping in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? But it's changed over time. Oh, yeah. Because as this this production has grown... People have changed for some odd reason. I don't know why. Oh, well, you're big time now. Now, bro, still still a little Mexican out here chilling, trying to do this. Did you have to change that along the way? So my thing when, you know, when we were all, like, when the, the whole crew was, like, coming up, I would always tell, you know, the people that I was bringing in, you know, the friend group, when I was like, you know, when they would try to act like they were better than anybody else, not than us, but just like people in general. Yeah. Like, I didn't like that. Like, I'm like, calm down. Don't let this shit get to your head. Do not let it get to your head. And so, you know, those people, I had to like, you know, just stop putting them on videos and stuff like that because you just, you just knew that they were going to turn their back on on you, on you, you know, on me. Yeah, like if when shit got tough, you knew. Yeah. It wouldn't be around. Yeah. That's what happens, though. Yeah. But they, that's that saying, right? Like when shit gets tough, you'll see who's around you. Yeah. Like if today today we have all this and tomorrow this all goes away, who's still going to be around you and believes exactly. in you? And, I mean, there's just ideas, right? Like we all have an idea, and then you know who's going to rock with you because they're just like, they're not in it for the money. They're not in it, they're not in it for you tagging them on a story or a post. They're here because they genuinely love what you do. They believe in what you do. And if this were to blow up, hey, at least they were there. Yeah, like right? when, when, I, when I have people come around me and, like, you know, they don't take out their phones to, like, post me and stuff like that, that's people that I kind of fuck with, you know? Yeah. I like that. No, that's, that's literally know. true. Like, I hate, I hate being, even, like, if we run into someone, like, famous, like, met, met you right now, it wasn't like, oh, hold on to me. What's up, bro? Yeah. How's it going? Yeah, I don't know. Then like everything that. just dies. Yeah. 
like when I lived in in West Covina, we saw like Lonzo Ball, and it wasn't like, yo, oh, let me take a picture. Like I kind of knew what he was there. His mom was there, whatever. We ain't gonna say that. <laughs> but um, it was like, yo, how are you doing? Because we're at the end of the day, we're just people. Yeah. People are just people. Yeah. They have that f- that time of fame, right? When they go to an event, and then it's just like, hey, how are you? Yeah. Instead of hey, can we just take a picture? Yeah. Right. So. I mean, you've been in on this this whole time. Is there an end goal for you? Like being in social media, now with your new partnership, now with with everything still growing the way it's growing, is there an end goal for you? Is there a purpose for you? Like what is it with your social media? Like I said, just make people happy. I do it for fun. I do this for fun. Y si paga, paga. Y si paga, paga. If money comes, or, uh, fuck it, I'll take it. Money makes the world go round. Exactly. But is there like... Have up until this point where you are right now, have you done everything you you wanted in, in your life? I think so. I think I've done it. I mean, I used to be like, I pues si me muero ahora, like I'll be okay with that. Now I'm not. Well, oh, then that's that's that question we talked about it. If you were to die today tomorrow, would you be happy that you did everything? No. I. I would. I mean, I used to be that person where I just like I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind going, but now I'm like no. Like I feel like, right now my purpose is the kids. Yeah. You know, my mom. I give. Yeah. So I'm just like. Yeah. Um. I can't. Like now I'm just like no. I'm. I'm afraid. I'm afraid that I'm gonna go and that, you know, my mom and the kids won't have, you know, me. Yeah, and that that's a scary thought, then, no? Yeah, now it's scary, cause I don't want to go, and then like, what if my my spirit stays here, and I'm like, and I see them suffer, and I'm like, no, I cannot. That, that whole afterlife type of conversation, though. Yeah, I used to be because you know I've lost so much people in my life, yeah. so much people, my dad, my nephew, my cousin, on like tragic deaths, you know, and so I used to be like, fuck it, I'm I'm ready, but now I'm just like, hell no, yeah. like I don't wanna. I don't want to go, and then I me just you know my, I I still see how people are suffering, especially my mom and the kids, and I'm just like no, I'm like yeah. out there, you know, let's stick around till. Yeah, no, know. it. I mean, this life, bro. Like everybody here, like when we when someone says I love life, do you really love life? Right, like that's that's that thing. Like, do you love your life? I love my life. Mm. I love my life. The ups and downs, I love it. Why is that though? So. Again, the reason on this podcast, the way we are, the way how, how we are, is people are going to listen to what you say about certain things when you when you came out. You know, what was the re- like, your feeling behind it, right? Talked about your dad. We talked about the machista. We talked about relationships, love. And now it's that, that life. Mm-hmm. Loving your life, enjoying your life. Being who you are, unapologetically, it doesn't matter what people got to say about you because they don't fucking feed you. Yeah. They ain't going to fucking wear your shoes. They're not walking in your shoes. It's you and you. and you. Yeah, That's it. Exactly. What is your best piece of advice that you've gotten throughout your journey in life? Me, just live your life. Live your life. Like if it's, you know, you're, live the day, be happy because you don't know when, when, when your last day is here in this world. That's how that we I mean we we I'm like fuck it we're gonna we're gonna do this we're gonna do that because we never know if tomorrow's promised. So we just you know, be happy and move it along. Now this is like I think we have like ten minutes in this one, so we're gonna throw some gems out here. So for that person that is scared to come out to their family, what can you tell them if they came to ask you for advice? Come out, be happy. I and mean, they don't want to be part of your life, then, you know, they, re- they really don't love you. But they'll come around. You know, my uh, my four older, like I said, my four older siblings are, are Christians, like big, full, on. Like, full on, big Christians. They have their church. My nephew's a pastor. And um, when my sister, my older sister, she helped my mom, you know, raise me. She took care of me when I was a baby. I'm her favorite. I'm her favorite. I'm her favorite brother until, and then while her kids were born, and then, you know. It kind of changed. Yeah, it kind of changed. I always tell my nephews that, too. Um, my sister literally had sat down. Where I was in Texas, and she, she, she was sitting on the table in the morning 
with my brother-in-law and had the Bibles open and stuff. And she's like, come here. I want to talk to you. I'm like, fuck. And we were, that was the last day we were there. And I, I was dreading. I was like, fuck, she's going to have to talk with me. I know she's going to have to talk with me. And she sat down and she's, she's at the edge of the table and she's literally looks at me and she just starts crying. And she's like, you know, I love you. Oh, she's all like, she's all like, I love you. She's all, but I have to have this talk with you. She's all like, you know that, you know, he doesn't like, you know, he doesn't accept it. It's not okay. And then she's like, and like I said, I love you and I'm going to accept you just the way you are, but I have to have this talk with you. I mean, we went deep. We went deep and, and to this day, like, they've never turned their back on me. My niece is, I'm really close to my niece and she's full on Christian, literally waited her whole life, you know, to get married, lose her virginity. She's, you know, and I actually asked her because, you know, she knows that, you know, being gay is not right. And she tells me, I told her, I asked her, hey, if I ever get married, would you come to my wedding? And she, I asked it in front of, I think, her husband and someone else. And she didn't answer me. She's like, oh, that conversation we'll have, you know, later on. And she woke up early in the morning one day and when she was here visiting, while well, in Coachella she was visiting. And she was waiting for me in the living room. And she's like, hey, I want to talk to you. Oh, shit. And she's like, <laughs> literally, she's just like, you know, she, I mean, she, we're so close, me and her are so close, and she's just like, you know, I wouldn't be able to, to go to, if you were ever want to get married, like, I wouldn't be, like, I love you, you know, you know, I don't care wh what you do, she's all like, but I wouldn't be able to go to your wedding, because that would me, that would be me, you know, being a hypocrite to God, and I'm, and I accept it, I'm like, fine, I'm like, I'm okay with it because you know what? They love me. They yeah. They accept me for who I am. They know it's wrong, but they don't judge me. Yeah. That's the biggest thing, not being judged for yeah, what you do and how you yeah, do things. They don't judge me at all. You know, I've taken J Queen out there too. And you see J Queen, he's like very, very, very gay. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I've taken him out there and my family fucking love him. Why is that though? Why do you think they love him? Because we're just ourselves. We're ourselves. Like, we just don't, you know, we don't, we don't sugar, sugarcoat anything. That's the way it should be, though. Like, for, for like, there's so many people that, like, want to sugarcoat things. Like, I want to tell you something, but I'm going to go around the bush no. and be like, um, it's like, bro, just fucking say it. Yeah, just say you it. You like me? Cool. You don't like me? Cool. It I is what it is. I respect, I respect people that, you know, tell you straight out. Like if you don't like me and you know you you have a problem with me and you tell me and you tell me before you tell everybody else and then it gets to me yeah before you tell me I respect that person yeah, yeah. yeah. but it's the way it should be it should be like that I don't know why people are like that it's because people are used to are used to being around snakes yeah I don't like they snakes. don't no especially out in Coachella there's a lot no right. <laughs> No rattlesnakes. No, we don't have. Maybe in the desert. No. No, no, right. Just snakes. What did What did Kevin Gates say? Like you got to cut the grass so you can see the snakes around you. No, we don't. Yeah. It's because it's a small town. It's like a pueblo. It is. Why well, it's growing? It's growing. It's been expanding. Yeah, it's expanding. It's when you go to Mexico. We have a Chick Fil A. <laughs> and a Canes. Oh, you're verified. Baldwin Park, shout out Baldwin Park. We just got a Chick Fil A, the Habit, and Canes. Yeah, we have a Habit, Canes, and and a what? And the In and Out oh, expanding up. No, we don't have a Chick. We got a new Jack in the Box though. With new. Oh, they, you didn't have a Jack in the Box. No, we did. We have two now. So they took out the old Shakey's because it was a bum, a bum one. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then now they build a new Jack in the Box. Yeah. So we have we have all those. We have Chick Fil A now, Canes. What else? That's it. <laughs> Oh, we're getting that crumble cookie. So we won't expect any you to come to LA anytime soon. No, no, no. I would if I wanted to go to Chick Fil A, I could go to Boma <laughs> or something. <laughs> Sundays we go to church. Do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Like about a year ago, I was just like. Was it a year ago, two years ago? I was just like, you know what? I, I was born, I was raised Catholic. Yeah. 
I was raised Catholic and about a year ago I was just like, you know what? I don't want to be a Catholic no more. I don't want to have a religion. I just want to, you know, I just want to love God. I want to love, you know. You want to be free. I want to be free. I don't want cuz everybody every religion, you know, has a different it's tough, bro. different thing and I'm just like, no. Yeah, I know. It's 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 a tough thing because there is rules, right? And I don't want to get too much into it cuz I know people get but it's yeah, just like, yo, crazy when they talk about religion. You are who you are. Sometimes you don't got to go in there to yeah. believe. And I mean, if you have a relationship with him, like you don't have to go to a church to have a relationship with him. You don't. Yeah. So I don't know. Why people so do you, you keep your faith strong or is it what, what keeps you like well, when you're, I, be, I believe like everything he does, you know, like I used to have, I used to have anger against him. But not no more, because I know he does it for a reason. Like, like I said, like everybody, everything that I've gone through in my life, like I feel like it's a learning experience, and he does it. Like he's the one that does it, you know, for us to learn and grow from it. You know, like um, when my dad passed away, I got super depressed, and I was like, nah, yeah. I don't want to. You know, my nephew. It was. It was my cousin. These are all close people to me. My cousin yeah. got murdered. He got uh, shot or stabbed. Was he stabbed? Shot. He got shot. And then a year after, my cousin got murdered by her husband. And then a year after, my nephew passed away in a car accident. And then the year after that, my dad passed away. This was year after year after year. You lost. I lost. And I was like, why? I was questioning him. Uh, I was, that, that's, I, was yeah. I was questioning him like why, like yeah. why are you making us suffer? But you learn like I'm like I've learned where like, you know like I I'm a caregiver. So I see a lot of death, you know. I see a lot of people go and people that I get close to, you know. A lot of these a lot of these uh, people I get very very close to. But you see them suffer, and I'm just like, wow. When they go, I'm like. It makes me happy that they're not suffering anymore and they're gone. When, you know, finally when I kind of realized, like, how life works. Yeah. When my dad passed away, I was very depressed. I'm just like, I have this conversation with my mom all the time. And I'm just like, imagine if my dad was still here. Like, what would life be? Like, I feel like if my dad was still here, I would have probably been, I would have probably committed suicide. Because that was always behind my, you know, when my dad was alive, I always, I didn't want to live because I knew he wasn't going to accept me. Yeah. Or my mom, or there were, you know, my mom, or like I wasn't going to be able to talk to him, like my family or anything like that. So I see, I'm like, I'm like, things happen for a reason. And, you know, the deaths, anything, anything that happens in, in my life, I'm like, it happens for a reason. And it's a sign of God, and and I live and learn. I got to. We got to. For everybody listening, right? Make sure you're subscribing, you're watching, you're following, sharing, like, comment, like, comment. That's the biggest thing. Comment. Tag all your friends. Tag all your Sanchos and Sanchas. And grandpa, grandma, tia, tios, tios, and tios, all of them. Far cousins. Yeah. Everything you got. Make sure you're you're sharing it with them. Who, if you could describe yourself in three words, how would you describe yourself? Uh, That's a good question. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, don't, I See, people have asked me that, and I just can't answer it. I just feel like... What comes to your head? That would First be thing that comes to your mind? Fat. <laughs> 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 Um, fuck, you're full know. of love. You're not fat. You're full of love. Yeah, full of love. I don't know. Funny. See, because I don't want to sound conceited. You can't. The hell, this is our show right here. <laughs> Unapologetically ourselves. I I always ask my coworkers, how 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 are you gonna describe me? They're like, you're a bitch. <laughs> you're a hoe. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Uh, Can we say a nice thing? Tell me how you guys really fucking feel. 
<laughs> Can we say something nice about me or <laughs> yeah, what? For real. I, you know what? Caring. There you go. You see? Caring. <sighs> caring. I'm very caring. You're for your people. Yeah. You're for other people. Yeah. You live your life for to serve other people. I do. It that's what you thrive on? Yeah. Like I I work, like I'm like I don't care for the managers to see what I'm doing. Like my you know, when I'm helping and, you know, doing my job. Like I don't care. You know, there's people out there that are like there's coworkers and not my coworkers. I'm not talking about you guys. I love you guys. Like you know, there's people out there that are like, oh my god, I want the manager to see what I'm doing. You know, so they could send so it to them so and shit. Get, so they could get employee of the month and shit like that. I don't. I don't care. Like I do it because I love, you know, to do it. And when I leave work, I'm like, okay, you know, I helped out yeah. these people. You served your purpose. Yeah. And then you go live your I life. Like a deed. You know, like I like Richie, my nephew. Um, you know, when I when we're together and. There's a homeless person, so I'm showing them, like, you know, you got to give. Like, I'm like, because I'm like, oh, you know, that um, they come to the window, and I'm just like, and I give them a dollar, and she's like, oh, why did you give them money? I'm like, because, you, you know, they're in need. So now we see a homeless person. He's like, are you going to give them money? I'm like, we don't have to give everybody money. <laughs> <laughs> We don't need to save everybody yeah, yeah, right yeah, now. We don't, yeah, just when, you know, I know, sometimes when you have money. Yesterday, we're, we went to Target real quick. And then we, when we walked in there, usually at Target, there's always like somebody selling something, yeah. chocolates or whatever. But this time they were selling some keychains. Mm -hmm. So we walked in and we're like, oh, should we get them now? And we're like, no, we'll come back. So we went and came back and he bought one. And I was like, fuck it, I'm going to buy one too. But it, it was, it was funny because it was the kid, the sister and the mom. Mm -hmm. So I went to the kid. I was like, I was like, oh, are you guys together? He's like, yeah, we're both together. So I was like, oh, like, just I'll come right now, like, so I can, like, choose. So I get one, at least from each. I was going to choose one from the little girl, and the brother was like, no, no. I was like, damn, now I got to choose from everybody. So we got the, like, the little Bad Bunny one, right? It was Bad Bunny, Raiders, Dodgers. Never motherfucker for 10 bucks. Ten bucks. <laughs> outside Walmart. I said Target. Target. Oh, at Target. Oh, that's why you're outside. Walmart Target. maybe been five yeah, bucks. Yeah, yeah. Target. Yeah. Hey, Walmart's my shit. I love Walmart. Two for ten. Two for ten. Two for ten. That dollars. That's why they stood outside Target. They were smart, dude. They knew I think that little thing they had them on. They probably had like twenty on them, and they were like down to like the last four or five each. Yeah, they knew what they were doing. But in my heart, I felt good, though. Yeah. In my heart, I'm like, I gave to these kids and to this family. I'm going to get a good deed tomorrow. Yeah. And then I'm just like, damn, I really just wasted that much. <laughs> For no <laughs> reason. <laughs> Wait, so you bought three? No, we bought, we bought four, but we gave them like we bought five. No, we bought six and four. Total, yeah. Ten each. Oh, my God. I was giving. Yeah, you really gave. <laughs> well, how you said we can't give it to everybody. Yeah, we cannot give it to everybody. You know, we did. We did. What was it like a month ago? The free Starbucks, yeah. motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> two out in less in less than like a total of two hours. That shit was gone. Did you get? Did you get the five dollar gift cards? No, we. I just posted like the barcode. Oh, I posted a barcode. I was like, "Yo, thank you for everybody following. Go get your caffeine because uh -huh. we're big on caffeine." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Go get your caffeine." No. Everybody, right away, like in an hour, that shit was gone. Yeah, of course. I was like, oh, you guys really love Starbucks. Yeah. I'm like, and it's for really free. And for if it's for free, it's for me. But the funniest part, people, you guys got to tag, bro. You guys got to tag. Yeah. There's only like five people and that tagged share. us. And share. There's only five people that tagged us. Thank you for the Starbucks. And then the rest did it. I was like, mm. Mm. I wonder who used it. Yeah, but. I do want to thank you, bro, because you came from, like, Egypt <laughs> just to come down. All two this hours. Way. Come down. Two hours. Okay, but no one goes over there. No one. Uh, unless excuse it's, me? Unless it's the event. I'm sorry. The Kardashians have a house out there in Coachella. Not Palm Springs. In Coachella. But it, it's only for the event. I, no. They go out there. They vacation out there. Do you not watch their episodes? No. Yeah. They kicked out Rob. I can't do it. And Kanye. <laughs> and Kanye. I can't do it. Peace. Anyhow, 
a lot of celebrities go out there. They, Palm Springs is a is the place to be. It's relaxing. Uh, okay. Like you could go out there and you relax. It's just you don't hear the planes, you don't hear all the traffic. The ghetto bird in the it's, air. It's just my like pee. <laughs> <laughs> It, 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 it's all it's right. It's expensive. Okay, th- that part. Um, but if you can, if you can leave a damn, if we want to break the chair, we can't afford or what? <laughs> Sorry about that. You That's see, it's gonna be five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> leave the truck. We just gotta leave the truck. We can't take it home now. If you can leave us with a quote or phrase, yes, come on. This, we're about this. This is gonna. This is the one that's gonna end up on TikTok. Oh, of course. I'll give you guys a, my, the quote every morning. Don't ever let no salty bitch ruin your day. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not the next day. Period. Per. <laughs> and we all have a shot. I know I got mine. This is water in my cup. Oh, damn. Pour some drink. J Queen's drinking. J Queen, I told I we told J Queen we're taking two, and he was I like, "No." Nope. J Queen's buzzing, honey. <laughs> hungry. Oh, I'm hungry too. We gotta eat. No, Dylan. The, yeah, we don't. I, I'm not. A, I don't eat breakfast. Yeah, I'm not a breakfast person either. Dude, so I, what did you eat this morning? Huevo con chorizo. Oh, you better feed him. Oh, that's why he has a chip next to him. <laughs> At night in the morning, he's eating chips. The, morning, the jalapeno <laughs> baked lace. <laughs> All right, so for ev- I said I'm drinking water because I'm trying not to drink the whole month. He's October. not breaking October. Jay Queen maybe, already, maybe already doubted him. Doubted him though, he's like not gonna last. That's the kind of support you have. Well, he's you. off. He's so he's not off next week, but he's off the following week. So we might. Oh, oh no, I'm not gonna say that. But yeah, we might go out Friday, maybe Thursday. We'll see. Thursday to Friday. Thursday, to Friday. Thursday, yeah, Thursday to Friday. Thursday to Friday. But if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Yes. Thank you for Thank coming you. all this way, sharing your stories, everything. I think it was amazing. People Thank you are gonna, for having me. It was amazing. <laughs> A toast. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Yo, I, we should buy some of these mics. Do ASMR. Wait, what would you do on ASMR?